Hello everybody, this is GW Robber back again, and today I bring you a review I have been waiting to do for a very long time. I have been very excited for this today. We'll be looking at the motorized, not Trackmaster, but motorized Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle pack. So, Thomas and Friends Trackmaster got rebranded again. But maybe it's not for the worst this time. Maybe Mattel and Fisher Price actually did something correct for once in their miserable lives. Let's take a deeper look and find out. So first off, here is the packaging. You can see we've got a new style of packaging. It's very light blue. It's got a cloud, grass background, and clouds and stuff. And you know, this feels like very much Trackmaster-esque. Uh, like, yeah, and this is definitely brand new. This blue palette is much nicer, I think, than the red and blue they kind of went with for Trackmaster. You can see Motorize, which is where it gets its name. Uh, Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle for three and up, which they used to say three to seven, which I didn't like, because why is it just three to seven? Like, I'm not saying it because I'm an older fan, but why can't it just be for all ages above three? But now it's back to three and up. So, now on the bottom here, you can see they have printed Trackmaster track. I mean, motorized track. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Some track on the bottom. You can see where they used to stand in here. Uh, on the side, you get the engine that you get in the pack. So, with like Duchess, it will have Duchess on this side. With Kenji, it has Kenji on this side. But this says Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle, so it just has good old Thomas, you know. Classic stock image of Thomas. On the back, you can see uh, Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle, and then it has all the different translations, motorized, different translations. And then for some reason, I don't know why, but they still have the old 2013 prototype pictures for some of the engines, like Thomas and Percy. Look at Percy. He has painted buffers, a weird eyebrows, no cab door, his six is way too high, and the mail van has a painted roof, which is not what the finished product looks like. This is a prototype. I don't know why they're still using that. Mattel, get your crap together. Then they have Nia, which is also a prototype, because she has red buffers, which in the final product, because I bought one, she has black buffers. The only, red, the only version of Nia for motorized that has red buffers is the metallic version, which I also happen to own. And she comes with the blue van and then Emily, but... For some reason as well, they don't advertise the three packs on the back. They advertise the big engine packs. Like, they call these two packs big engines. Or big friends or whatever. Which is weird. I, I don't understand it. Like, why would they not, like, have Kenji and Duchess on the back of this? But, eh, whatever. I don't care. It's just the packaging. And then here you have a little motorized Thomas, which is pretty cool. It's like battery charged Thomas. And then it talks about how it requires two AAAs. Then here's one of the coolest parts. On the bottom, if you look over here, that's Thomas riding up the barcode like a hill. That is really creative. That's cool. I didn't even know they were allowed to do that. I thought barcodes had to be untouched uh, on packages, but I uh, apparently, uh, no, it looks fine scanned just fine in the store so now on the other side this is the same for all the packaging for any engine that's thomas james and nia and then a thomas and friends logo. they're pasting the thomas and friends logo everywhere on this i mean look there it is three times in one in like one corner and then it's there on the back it's on this side even on the sets they have the thomas and friends logo on a like a sticker like on the walking bridge set on you know the over little bit uh, there's a panel of wood that hangs over Thomas as he goes to load onto the bridge there's a Thomas and Friends sign which is weird I'm not gonna if if that's an optional decal I'm not gonna put it on the set because I don't want Thomas and Friends pasted all over my motorized sets so anyways let's look at the true glories themselves Annie and Clarabelle okay so here's the part to gloss over Thomas is just a stock standard normal motorized Thomas uh, it's the same. Motorized has not introduced a new mechanism for the engines. It is still the same. Mo it's still the same Trackmaster thing. Everything is still the same. So, yeah, that's fun. Now, on to the Cooches. Annie and Clarabelle. Where do I begin with Annie and Clarabelle? Oh boy. 
So, <laughs> these, when you first look at them, these are beautiful. These are what we've been wanting for so long, and we never got them. We always had Thomas going around, blasting through dynamite, and, you know, going down waterfalls, and crashing through caves, but he never had anything to pull. He never had trucks, he never had coaches. We didn't get a Trackmaster Annie and Clarabelle that were decent size and didn't have any decals all over them. Like party favors, or balloons, or a reds versus blues, or a, a, a winged Thomas which had a blue Annie and Clarabelle. No, we never got a stock standard Annie and Clarabelle until the 3-in-1 freight set which was the last Trackmaster set I'm pretty sure. And even then, they were, sh they were shrunk this way, like this way, and they were tiny. They didn't have any open windows. Uh, if I walk over here, let's compare these to an old coach. Uh, here is Pepe. Pepe, I have him turned backwards because he was backwards in, uh, he's, he's supposed to face the rear, but in the Trackmaster set, he faces the front, which is really weird. They got Pepe backwards, so I turned them around. Um, here is the old coaches versus the motorized coaches. So Trackmaster, motorized. Here's what they look like. Look at that difference. This is like a third longer than this. Here's Thomas compared to Pepe, which is what Annie and Clarabelle were the same size as. Here's Thomas compared to Annie. Much better. Um, so just imagine this is Annie or Clarabelle or whoever. Um, no open windows. This is entirely a sticker. Um, nothing on the front, just a decal or sticker thingy. And no 3D molded face. Pepe's face is just a sticker. Same with Annie and Clarabelle when they got released in the 3-in-1 pit package pickup. They had 2D sticker faces. And they're, and if you notice something, look. There's no riveting. There's no details. This is a standard boxcar van just with coach decals on it. That is pathetic. These coaches were awful and I hate them and they did not look like coaches at all. These did not look like anything you'd see on a railway. It, it was just bad. So throwing that aside, here are the new coaches. As you can see, open windows, riveting, and door handles and paneling that is all 3D molded. We got Annie's name painted on the side. And look at this. In the motorized range, this is the first time that we have gotten a 3D faced Annie and Clarabelle, if I'm not mistaken. This is the first ever 3D faced Annie and Clarabelle with an actual nose and actual eyes you can see in the reflection that she's got cheeks, she's got the eye, like the wrinkles above her eyes. And her mouth is even 3D. It's like engraved in there and then painted over or decaled over. That is just dedication. We didn't have to have this. We didn't, no one asked for this, but we got it. And I am so happy. And this, the windows could have been, you know, holes, but eh, kind of everything. The windows in the front or back if you're talking about Clarabelle have never been holes on the motorized versions either so yeah and here is one of the best parts the, the, the extra detail the extra effort they went through to make these toys look as good as possible if you look inside you can just barely make it out but there are seats inside of Annie there are it's seats with wood texture with wood paneling that is dedication, right there. You can barely make it out, you can see the shadows. I might unscrew her and, you know, let you see. Not only that, we have an undercarriage with the Glane, Mattel, blah, blah, blah stuff. Look at that. There's an actual undercarriage on these coaches. They're not painted, but they don't have to be because I'm pretty sure they'd be black anyway in real life. She's got buffers on both sides. They've got these dummy hooks that I'm not a big fan of, but they don't really hinder the play value really much. So, meh. And as well as that, just like the Tomy version, they have 
the riveted 3D um, little things on the top. I don't know what those are. But you can see, they stick out, and they are 3D. And, yeah, that is amazing. This Annie is like A, A, A plus work. I, I love this. And this I love the CGI and Season 7 Up palette for the Annie and Clara because they don't have white roofs anymore. They have these dark gray roofs, which I very much enjoy. So, yeah, Claramel is basically the same thing, except there's actually one difference that nobody I know of has noticed. If you look at Annie and Clarabelle directly side by side, you can see people always think, oh, they're just the same expression. But no, these two actually do have slightly different expressions. Look at Annie. Her eyes are closer together than Clarabelle's. So the eyes are closer together on Annie, plus look at the mouth. Annie has a more broad and wide mouth. Meanwhile, Clarabelle has a more... It's, it's less wide, but it goes up more. Like, it goes up on the, on, on the sides a little bit more. So yeah, Annie and Clarabelle have different molded faces. They're actually different, which is serious dedication. We have never gotten different 3D molded faces for Annie and Clarabelle because, you know, we've never had molded faces at all. Anyways, um, back in the day, we used to have Annie with a surprise face and Clarabelle was smiling, which I will show you in a minute on the Tomy toys. But, I mean... I don't know why they even bothered, honestly, because they're so similar, but I I'm still, I, I love the dedication here. It's, it's great. I'm, I'm, it, th thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah, I, I, I like this. Now let's compare Annie and Clarabelle to two other versions from the Trackmaster and Tomy ranges. Okay, so here is Motorized, Trackmaster Push Along, and Tomy, Annie and Clarabelle. So, first, we'll, we'll just look at Annie for this example, because Clarabelle is not really needed. So, yeah, you got Annie. Here's the Trackmaster Push Along, which is basically the Adventures version, just extremely fat. So, as you can tell, it has all this decoration and obnoxious bunting and banners all over it. The name is minuscule, and there is no open windows. Not to mention this thing is heavy as a freaking brick. So... Yeah, not to mention, look at the wheelbase. It is wide as hell. So, uh, uh, yeah. Th they do have a 3D molded face, but I didn't count it as like these, because these are not motorized. They're just made of metal. They're not plastic. They're not motorized. These are made of metal. They are originally adventures, so they don't count for the 3D molded face, because they always had those in the adventures and take along and stuff. And look at that. You can, you can see there are holes for windows, just barely, but they're not filled in. So Annie just has a lone face with no windows painted in. So it looks like she's got an extremely enormous face. Like, this all looks like her face without the windows to differentiate where her face ends from where it starts. So, I hate this version of Annie. I really do. I only got it because it was the only version of any Trackmaster or any anything that we had of Annie and Clarabelle that worked on Trackmaster Track, except for the Reds vs. Blues Thomas, which I never... I wasn't collecting Trackmaster 2 back then, so I never got around to getting that. So here's them size-wise. Now remember, these run on the same track. This is supposed to go with this. Look at that! It's so tiny! She's just a little baby. And Thomas is enormous. That's so... I don't understand Trackmaster Push Along. What's the point of it? If they're not going to scale the engines to work with the Trackmaster motorized engines? It, it's so dumb. Mattel really screwed up the Adventures line. Because Adventures is one of my favorite lines when it was still around. And now it's garbage, just like everything else. Except Annie and Clarabelle. But yeah, here is Annie versus other Annie. So yeah, as you can tell, if you compare the Tomy version with the motorized version, the Tomy version is still longer. I, I prefer the length of this one over this one. But, I mean, it, this one has more advantages than this, aside from the length. So as you can tell, um, sticker face, 
three defects. Um, these, the Tomy version does not have holes for windows, so that's why I gave it a pass on the motorized version. Yeah, no holes for windows, and they never had that, so. Here's the sides. Um, yeah. Okay, here's the difference. This Annie is actually done with a sticker. This is a sticker that says Annie. This is painted, you know, decaled on. It's it's stuck on there. It's You're not going to get it off unless you, like, use a file and grind it off. This Annie has nothing on the inside. It has holes for windows, but there's nothing on the inside except the, like, plastic poles that hold the screws in. However, as I showed before, this Annie has uh, seats, which is really cool. They both have nothing on the back, no paneling or anything, which they do have in the actual show. Something I forgot to mention about the Trackmaster push along is they do have paneling on the back. Um, this one has a good coupling. This one has a dummy coupling, which is a plus for Tomy. Now, here's another thing I forgot to mention. Um, oh, by the way, this has more of these doodly dads than the Tomy version does. The Tomy version only has eight of them. This has a lot of them, so. Something I forgot to mention about the motorized version is something I don't like about it, and that is this. What the heck is this? Why do the wheels need, like, gears on them? Why do they need this? I don't understand. I hate these new wheels. They look awful. I don't understand the point of them. They, they spun perfectly the way they were before. And they have plastic axles, which makes it even more cheap. But, yeah, I hate these wheels. They uh, kind of look weird. But when the, the thing is, when Andy and Clarabelle are in the track, you don't really see them that much. So I guess it's somewhat okay. I, I still don't like them. I don't like these wheels. But, yeah. Annie has a different expression, by the way, as you can tell. This one is Surprise, which Annie always had back in the day. And then this one is, oh, yeah, she's, she's just vibing. She's chilling. So, yeah. Uh, Clarabelle, as well, is basically the same deal. I mean, it's really nothing different from Annie and Annie and Clarabelle to Clarabelle. They even have the same expression, pretty much. Except this one's CGI. That one is classic, like season one. So, yeah. That is Annie and Clarabelle, my dear wives. Let's run them around the track. 